Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'll be reviewing the Magicians Podcast Network with Richard Young and many others. Before I do this, can you please like and subscribe and check out onlinemagic.co, my membership site, which runs this whole thing. Uh, without that, there is no this. And if you love this, you will love that. Um, learn from a pro, onlinemagic.co, 900 videos. We had a great session last night with Ronnie McGee and Noel Quilter discussing creativity and coming up with loads of examples how they get into that place of creating magic, uh, which so many of us struggle with. So that's just one of the 150 live sessions plus loads of tutorials. Brand new rubber band magic course I've just uploaded with loads of stuff on there. Rubber band 101, volume one, just up on the set site. All of that for your 9 99 a month. Ridiculous. Have a look at it. Uh, OnlineMagic.co. So I was really excited when Richard Young was going to start his podcast again. It's the only magic podcast, a magician's podcast, his previous project uh, and kind of ongoing project, I suppose, where I listened to every single episode. I found it so enlightening. Richard's a phenomenal host. He's not too sleazy. He's not trying to come off as being too funny all the time. <clears throat> he's very natural and because of that there was this lovely kind of fairy tale story where the more the podcast went on the more difficult difficult is the wrong word famous is the wrong word I was meaning difficult to get hold of people to interview you know what I mean it basically uh, not belittling the people that were at the beginning of the podcast but like everyone when it got traction more people were up for being involved that maybe wouldn't have been at the beginning that's what I'm trying to say what a rubbish way of saying it Steve very rubbish indeed you know what I mean basically uh, culminated in him interviewing homily by Chris Kenner and then amazingly uh, David Copperfield which was this sort of hundredth, epi hundredth episode which was so such a great journey it felt like you were kind of with him on this whole thing uh, which started out like any podcast as a kind of bit of an experiment or a bit of a project and then came, sort of ruled his life in a good and a bad way I'm sure so took a break after that, well deserved. How do you follow that? And as uh, Alan Hudson, his co-host in a lot of this and in some of the previous podcasts and him discuss on the sort of introductory episode, how do you follow interviewing Copperfield? Well, now my feeling is you follow it quite easily because for me, an interesting podcast isn't only on the level of celebrity of the, the um, guests you have. And what I mean by that is on the previous podcast, there were magicians I didn't really know much about and it was easy to go, oh, I don't really want to, yeah, I'll go on to the people I know about because I want to know about them. And actually those were the, the things I found so inspiring and it, it opened the doors and introduced me to, to new magicians and new, new ways of thinking. So off the bat, I would say if you do go back and watch all the sort of legacy episodes, so to speak, the hundred episodes of the Magicians podcast, do not just look for those magicians you already like to reinforce what you already know. You know, be open-minded and watch everything. And I'd say that actually with, with all podcasts. So that's why I kind of didn't think, oh, right, where are you going to go after that? I was like, yeah, great, bring it on. Uh, you know, the, the, the magicians you interview will all be good for me. And then it was this whole network thing. So, so what you get with this, the what's going on, which is uh, Alan Hudson and Richard, talking about what's going on in magic uh, via interviews and you'll know it says a cut there because there's loads to remember here and I can't remember it so I've got notes right there thought I could do it about looks like I can't so started off um with the Darren Brown interview and then Cat had some Marvin Berglas I'm just going to read them the Marvin Berglas one was the one I listened to which was great actually and Marvin becoming the you know, recently becoming the president of the Magic Circle it was really lovely. And there's a really lovely bonus at the end with a very short interview with David Berglas. Um, I've been 98, I believe, 97, 98. Uh, Jack Rhodes, Michael J. Fix. A fix? Fitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said Flitch then as well. Christian Grace. All those people haven't heard all of them, but I will say whenever you've got uh, Richard and or Alan interviewing someone, it's going to be good. There's, there's, this kind of follows... A similar vein and they are saying they want it to be more chatty which I'd go with more than kind of you know these sort of w written interviews that are very kind of static they're chats with people in the magic world um, which is a winner for me 
So that's a no-brainer. Great, and that's kind of similar to what, what we had before. Then, through the magic of television, is another podcast you get with. You get all these podcasts, uh, podcasts with this, with Alex McAleer. And this is where Alex will sit with someone else looking back over a TV show or something that from the past. Um, well, it will be a TV show. That's what it's called, a, the magic of television. So it's not all something from the past. It is something from the past. Something that's been watched. And they watch someone that was involved with that or involved in that world and discuss it, which I think is great because then you can go back and re-watch it. It's almost like a director's commentary-ish kind of thing and I really enjoyed it. I listened to the uh, the one with John Archer where they discussed the early, well the first episode of Fallers and all the people in that series and what happened to them. That was great because I was there watching it at the time. Uh, and there's Luch talking about Darren Brown's mind control, loads of other stuff. I'm not going to read them all out, I'll be here all day. I just cannot remember stuff. I think I can but when it comes to lists of things to remember my ADHD brain is nonsense so uh, Nevin Harry it's called Face to Magic <laughs> I keep wanting to say Face to Music the episode I listened to was where Nevin and Harry both go and see a psychic each and report back so they go in as a punter they don't tell them they're magicians and they get a reading and come back and talk about it and I think this is this was really interesting because what I was expecting was them to go and go oh what a load of nonsense um, you know regardless of what you think about it or not with that kind of confirmation bias of let's prove this is all nonsense. But actually, they were discussing how they really did want to go in with an open mind, you know, understanding that it might help someone. So it wasn't completely dismissive. It was right, let's really go for this. Let's go in as a punter and be kind, which they were. They didn't like take the piss or anything, which I'm really glad of. It could have really easily been a kind of cheap dig. And then they come back and discuss the results. What I like about it, and quite a lot of it, and go with me on this, there is a reason for this, it's quite sweary. <laughs> and and maybe and maybe a little bit too, I know, don't know, I've got a potty mouth, but but I think what's happened is they, they're going, right, let's, let's kind of not make this as clean cut as it as a lot of magic is. And I do think too much magic is a little bit kind of squeaky clean. So I really like the fact that they're kind of relaxing a bit and not being too too kind of careful with that. I, I what it's like watching the um the live launch of the Piff book last night, I liked that it was a bit sweary. It's not that I think swearing's really cool, can be, uh, <laughs> but it's just that I think actually we need to stop being so squeaky clean, a little bit like any other medium, uh, and just kind of relax a bit. Then there's a special episode. Now the episode I listened to was the, and there is a free thing you get when you subscribe, by the way, which is very cool. The episode I listened to was the Edinburgh Fringe one. This is really long, right? And I don't say that in a bad way. So you do get a lot. This isn't stuff that's been kind of trotted out. And that was going and interviewing magicians, loads of different magicians, uh, Chris Dugdale, uh, Ben Hart, loads of others, not going to mention them all, loads of them, at, and not just two or three as well, of what that Edinburgh experience is about. And again, even though I don't do Edinburgh anymore, it was good to hear about the experience and actually what they're saying is transferable to other scenarios you know what's it like running a long show day after day after day what happens from beginning to end you know what does it feel like to do what about the failures all that stuff really important for us magicians to know as performers in any kind of scenario and the other special episode that is there is the audio of the Darren Brown um, interview that was the big launch of this which the launch of launch of the notes uh, from a fellow traveler book which you get as a video a really nicely produced video when you subscribe to this podcast so you get all of that these regular shows loads and loads of stuff and you get the video really nicely done video of the Darren Brown interview that Richard did at the Magic Circle the launch of the phenomenal book I've not reviewed it yet I don't know if I will um, but I'm reading it I'm definitely doing that um, but I, I will talk about it but it's it's just stunning and that interview is just brilliant Darren is someone who is always worth listening to and is very honest and candid and will help you in your performance as is reading that book at the moment. I read the first 20 pages of that book, went out and did a show that day because I was sitting in the car reading it and stuff started to change. So I really recommend that. Okay, what's the catch? You've got to pay for it. <laughs> That's the catch. Paying for a podcast? Blimey. Yes, you've got to pay for the podcast. And we're so used to getting podcasts for free. Now, that for some people is, of course, going to be an issue because we've got all the other stuff for free. We've got the Magician's Podcast for free. 100 episodes, podcast 
for free. Uh, and it was great. So now we've got to pay for it. You what? 13 99 a month or 12 99 um, I'm not going to double check it. Can't be bothered. There's only a quid in it. Uh, a month. Why? Well, why is because... Well, the first thing is you get four different podcast episodes, but also the money is apparently going back into the production of this. It's never going to be a big money maker. These things cost money, as you can see from the Darren Brown video. It's all really nicely produced and the audio is really nicely produced. There's a lot more to this. It feels like watching something, for want of a better word, but, well, the, the original podcast was professional anyway, but it's just, it, there's more production in it. That's what I'll say. Uh, it feels like something, you know, when you watch, listen to a BBC podcast, they chuckle that budget as it, and it kind of feels like a kind of serialised kind of TV thing uh, with the top and tailing and all that and the audio. And it really does feel like that. They put a lot of time into this. And of course, they're paying people like Nevin Harry to go off and see psychics. So with a solo podcast, it's always a win-win. You get views and the people come on and it's a win for them. But when there's more, uh, the, the amount of work that this is taking, I think to expect all these different people to get involved, you can't expect everybody to keep doing stuff for free just for a podcast that might actually not be theirs. And when it comes to special episodes, I'm sure there's things in the future where they might have guest hosts, people coming on, doing different things that they will pay. So you're getting something a lot more solid, for want of a better word. I know I keep saying for want of a better word because I'm not very good at words sometimes, especially today. I'm not very good at words today. But you're getting a lot. And I think, you know, in compared, you know, we always say, you know, all the tricks you buy and don't use, there is some serious learning, but also enjoyment in this. And that's really important. You know, when we list a podcast, we don't just want to learn loads of stuff and find out things that can be very dry. We want it to be entertaining. Richard, Alan, Neb, Harry, Alex, they're good interviewers. They're good pre presences. Um for audio and i really enjoyed what i saw and i wanted more so loads more to say i've said too much many words probably could have done that in about three minutes sorry about that but the point is i think it's really good it is a commitment it is an investment um but you know you don't have to sign up for years do you and you do get that darren brown video uh for your money and i think you know for, for the things we have to pay for on a month to month basis i think this is a good one to consider if you take your magic seriously and you want an insight in not just the stuff we all hear about, you know, when do you get the magic? We've got a magic set, which I didn't actually, um, but actually something a little bit deep. It's a bit more of a deep dive and a bit more niche. You know, there's lots of niche things that you can sort of dive into here. I said, do I dive twice? There you go. Right. Thanks very much. Uh, do use the links below. This is available all over the place. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, everything. You just go in there, have a look and it will take you through the process to subscribe. And, um, any questions at all, do ask me, comment below, and I will answer them on a live session when I do them on Thursdays at five. Quite a lot of Thursdays I can't make it, so when you like and subscribe, which you should, do hit the little bell, bell icon and, uh, and you'll get all the notifications. Right, that's the Magician's Podcast Network. Have a look at it, and, uh, and then go and have a look at onlinemagic.co. Cheers. <laughs>